So we're making guacamole, right? Yes. Guacamole. Now, before we get into guacamole, I am here with one of my favorite person in the whole entire world, Mother Teresa! <laughs> Teresa, thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. We had to have Teresa because she her guacamole is the best in the Wild West. She created her this recipe and she is from Michoacan, Mexico. Where's the Michoacan, Mexico? Where is and yeah. the south? The oh, southern the part of Mexico, people, and they don't mess around. But let's get right into the recipe. So what do we need? Avocados. Avocates. Okay, so what do we do with the avocados? Cut it in half. Cut it in half. How do you know that an avocado is ripe? Because you you can feel it like very soft. Very soft, and then yeah. when you open it up inside, it's got yeah. that beautiful green, right? Yes. This recipe dates back to the Aztecs. They would take the fruit, avocado, and they would turn it into guacamole, which we're gonna make for you right here today. So we're using three avocados, fresh. Teresa, when did you learn how to make guacamole? Ooh, <laughs> when I was like, I was little too. When, how old? When I like, I started to learn to cook, I was like 14 years old, and I have to learn that time. Wow. I learned everything too. Beautiful. Because I have to cook them for everybody in my, when I was little. Wow. Not only are we giving you the freshest guacamole, we're giving you the freshest recipes on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, make sure to do so and slap a big like on the video because we got Mother Teresa in the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I got another one. Okay, here the... Boom, boom. Let's go. Boom, Orale. Boom. Vamonos. Vamonos. Vamonos a la playa. No a la playa. No. Hacer el guacamole. Hacemos guacamole. All right, so now we, we got our avocados all in our bowl. Now what's the next ingredients? Uh, lime and salt. Okay, now a whole whole lime? Yes. So how much salt, like a pinch? Yeah, like a pinch. Okay. A little bit more. Pinch of salt? Yeah. Two pinches? Two pinches. Two pinches, boom. We okay. got two pinches. We're okay. just using kosher salt. Okay. Cut the lime in half, now what do we do? Squeeze it right in? Yes. Okay. Get all those juices out. And an easy way, if, you're, if your lime is really firm, what you can do is just roll it like this and it'll break up all the juices and get it so it'll just squeeze all over the place. Yes. Okay, cool. Lime is done, salt is done. What's our next ingredient? The squishy. Squish it, okay. Yeah, like three times. So what is this thing that you have right here? It's make it like soft and squishy like. Okay. You can use a fork though if you don't have this, right? Yeah, you can use a fork too, and you don't have it, and you don't have to. So you're just kind of squishing it, not too much though, not right? Too much. Why don't you want to do it too much? Because it's going to make it very um, liquid or very watery, and it's not no good. Not good. Okay, so don't go too hard on the squishing, okay, guys? Just you know, be yeah, nice to your avocados. Yeah. Okay, next ingredient? Is the tomato. The tomato. And how much tomato are we putting in? Half a... Half a tomato? Yes. Yeah, if you don't have a lot of time for cooking, this is a great recipe to throw together. Okay. Okay, now what are we doing? The onions. The onions. onions. So you're gonna wanna use a red onion? Red onion. And how much red onion are we gonna use? One quarter of onion. So a quarter onion. onion. Diced, sliced up. Pique la muy finita y póngala en el guacamole. Okay, so we're gonna slice it really fine and put it right into the guacamole. All right, onions are chopped, diced, and sliced. We're putting those in. Cilantro. Cilantro, time for the cilantro, okay. So with cilantro, why do you use the stems of the cilantro? Because the stem is like the, the flavor. Then it like, has like juicy. So Drew is saying that the stems have the most flavor in the cilantro. So you want to chop up those stems and throw them in. You don't want to take off just the leaves. Almost done, only needs this. What is that? Jalapeno. Woo -hoo -hoo! Jalapeno. Watch out. So what are you doing right now? Kind of the, the veins because it's very spicy. Mm. It's going to be very, very spicy. So if you don't like your guacamole spicy, you're definitely gonna wanna take out yeah. the center and the seeds. That's where all the spice is. What do they call these in Spanish? Venas. Venas, okay. Yeah, there's like the veins. veins. Yeah, or corazon. Ah, corazon. Mm -hmm. I've heard the Mexican corazons are very spicy. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> Watch out for those Mexican corazons. Yeah. 
man, I gotta bring guests on the show more often. They do all the cooking for me. Okay. Now you just mix it around? Mix it all around and taste. Mamma mia, bella roba. Very good. Woohoo! Okay, we're gonna try this, but I think in order to try some proper guacamole, we need some proper chips. There's nothing like fresh chips, and a lot of people don't know you can make your own tortilla chips. These are corn tortillas, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna cut them into four. So just right down the middle, boom, spin them, and boom. There you go, look at that. So we got our oven at 300. We're gonna take a cookie sheet, like so, and we're just gonna spread them around the cookie sheet, just like this. So we're just gonna add salt, water, and that's probably gonna give it what? Crunchiness and, very and crunchiness flavor. Very crunchiness and very good flavor. We're not gonna use any oil though? No oil because we don't need it. Don't need it, come on, stay healthy, get clean. So all you need is to fill up a spray bottle with water and then mix salt in it. Put it to the tablespoon with the salt. So. The salt, okay. All right, we'll shake this up. Just give it a light spray over the top. Beautiful, is that good? Yeah, put it a little more. A little more? A little more. More wet, more salt. So as time passes, you're gonna wanna keep checking them and keep spraying them. You're also gonna wanna flip yes. these chips over so it cooks evenly. Yes, that's very, it's good. Let's it's put them in? Yes. Put them in, come on. All right. Wow. Those are gonna taste great. <laughs> All right, our chips have been inside for about 10 minutes. We need to flip them and we need to spray them, right, Teresa? Put more uh, flavor in there. More salt? More water Woo. and salt. Ah. You know what, you want the good chips, you gotta work for it. Or you can take this tray out and it's probably a little easier. <laughs> well, so what this is gonna do is gonna make it nice and crispy and give it that salty flavor. And don't worry about making them too soggy because what the oven's gonna do is it's just gonna burn all that moisture, all that water off. Let's wait another 10 minutes and then salt again. Our chips are looking ready. Let's pull these guys out. Beautiful, look at that, nice and crispy brown. And then because we sprayed that salt water on, they should be a little salty. Try it. Oh, hot, a little bit hot. Wow, that's so good. All right, well, let's let these cool down and we'll try them with our guacamole. Chips are all cooled off and ready. Oh my gosh, the moment we've all been waiting for. Here's your chip. You ready? Ready. Shoot. Mmm. <laughs> Muy delicioso. Muy delicioso, mamma mia. One more, I gotta get another bite. Mmm. Wow. Wow. It's very good. I re what do you think, is this good or not? It's amazing, it's incredible, Teresa. I know, for me it's very, very delicious. The one word I would describe this whole plate is fresh. Everything is fresh ingredients, guys. The fresh guacamole, the fresh tomato. You taste that lime with the salt, the fresh cilantro. This is just all around. Everything is fresh. This is all around just beautiful. I gotta take another. Uh. Wow, Teresa, that was an amazing dish. Thank you for coming on the show. Oh, thank you. This this is an amazing dish. Super easy, super quick, very simple, guys. If you want more dishes like this, one, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and two, make sure to turn on those post notifications so you know when we come out with the fresh guacamole, if you know what I mean. All right, well, that is the recipe for today, and we will see you next time in the kitchen. Adios, amigos! Vamos a la playa.